So I haven't done a video in a long time. Um, any sort of video, really. I've just been busy with life. So, <coughs> I finished this computer uh, recently. Uh, sort of done. Uh, it's an AT style motherboard. It has an Asus AP5T. Um, people have pushed this board really far in the past. I've actually gotten it up to 500 megahertz. Although my K62 uh, in there doesn't really want to eh, work too well at 500 megahertz due to voltage restraints and stuff. Um, so, uh, show it booting up. It's got a 3 defects Voodoo 3 3000. It's a good card. Um, it's a little overkill for the processor that's in there, but. I don't really mind too much. Oops, sorry, just put the screws away. It's working on this Pentax Spotmatic here. Um, I messed up the wiring on it, so manually it all works. Uh, the mirror wouldn't come back down, so put a little bit of valve oil on it. And it works just fine. Okay. Uh, it's running Windows 98. Don't ask me what version. Don't care too much. 64 mega megabytes of RAM. Um, other than that, it's nothing too fancy. Nothing anyone has ever really seen. No, not seen before. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, 3D Bench 2000 doesn't really score. Too high, it's only around 1,100. Um, I guess I'll open up GL Quake. Wow, this thing's shaky. Nope. Oh. I don't know what's in the CD drive. But it runs smoothly. Come on, spit something out. Whatever. Um, oh yeah, mini keyboard. By the way, I love these. Hey, come on. Oh, oh, Rogue Squadron. Get out of there. All right, let me just do time demo real quick. I'm really tired, by the way. Oh. Really fast. And there it is, 64.3, I think it said. It usually goes a little higher. I uh, like, what was that? I think it got up to 69 before. I don't remember. It can vary sometimes. I guess it was doing stuff with the CD drive at, at the moment. Um, yeah, very, very good computer, I think. Um, good for 1999 games and, well, when you get to 2000, kind of gets blown away. Um, I think that's because I need a better processor in it, or just a better uh, computer overall. Um, this computer, I'll probably end up getting a Voodoo 2, because that seems just to fit it right. A Voodoo 2 and some sort of, um, I don't know about Matrox. Huh. Uh, some sort of 2D card. Or 2D and 3D wouldn't be too bad. Um, what else? Yeah, and the Voodoo 3 3000 that's in here, um, I'll probably end up putting that in uh, a socket A system that I'd like to build sometime. You can get the parts really cheap, cheaper than a Pentium 3. <laughs> and also better overclocking sometimes. Yeah, really cool. Um, so that is my Asus AP5T computer. I really do like these, this thing. Um, in case it needs to be repainted a little bit. Really good for those old computers. I think this is close enough to the specification that my original computer, oh, my first computer was. I'm pretty much convinced that it actually did have, uh, probably like a Voodoo 2 in it. Or something, because I've never seen... 
anything looks so much like it as the way it did in my childhood and I'm pretty much convinced that's what it was probably some sort of a K6 based computer it wasn't too fast when it got to newer games like 4x4 Evo 2 I remember that one that ran really uh, pretty slow I mean it's it's bearable on here it's just not too fast there's like a socket A or slot A and we upgraded to a Pentium 4 the other dimension something yeah anyway it's a really good computer I really like it sort of use it as a almost a daily driver here uh, my work a little workstation soldering station here so I'll take you on a little tour so if I run out of memory whoops yeah, the Cyrix M2. I tried that. Tried overclocking a little bit. Didn't get too far, of course. My girlfriend got me this a little solder, a little helping hands. I, I really do like this. This has gotten some use. Um, this is where most things get done. Soldering iron burns to get old solder off. It's a terrible way to do it, but I don't have any steel wool. I actually do I do photography, and I've done some stuff with it. Um, this is probably going to be an all just manual camera now because there's no electronics working inside, especially this battery compartment little thing there. Uh, here's a fuzz pedal I was working on for a guitar. Still needs uh, ground wires put in and more testing and probably uh, new germanium diodes. Um, it's my parts bins up here. Here's the main two that I mainly use. Truck full of components. Everything else is just. <laughs> Here's my CB radio. I use this sometimes. It's a Panasonic 40 channel. I don't remember what it was. And up here I have the uh, tuner, uh, field strength tester thing, going to my homemade antenna. Yeah, no specifications were used in the making of this. It was, I made a coil and I made a loop. Uh, not a loop, but a, a single copper wire going all the way up. I should probably use specifications uh, and stuff. Uh, that's where I got the Voodoo 3 from that was flashed on a Mac, surprisingly. Um, Steve's down there. That's my snake. Um, 486. I, I had the Voodoo 3 in here not too long. A turntable. Yeah, I record some records and stuff. Um, some games here. USB card that was in here didn't work out too well. Flashed router. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, they got motherboards on the wall, too. Yes, I know my calendar's out of date. I just haven't had the time to change it. Well, maybe I should change it. I don't know, I kind of like it there. It's been there since, well, March of 2014. <laughs> Almost two years. Alright, uh, I think that's enough. Might take like 10 minutes to load up to YouTube or something. Actually, no, more like 30. Alright, um, like, comment, subscribe if you like it. Uh, if, if you hate it, I'll make more videos so you can hate those too. That's, that's all I got. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, more 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 nerdy computer uh, videos like this later in the future. Bye for now.